Well, tonight it is clear there will be no vote next month on a new public safety training center for Atlanta. Supporters of it, uh, supporters rather of putting it on a ballot for voters to decide the issue have run out of time. Yeah, that's right. But there is still a chance Atlanta voters may see it on a ballot, possibly early next year instead. 11 Live's John Cherick breaks down the latest. The clock keeps ticking. We have missed the deadline for the November ballot. And construction continues on Atlanta's new and controversial public safety training center. But opponents are still working to try to stop the project in mid-construction by stopping it at the ballot box. We can still make March ballot, so that is what we are now aiming for. The plan from Atlanta City Council member Liliani Bakhtiari, approved Monday unanimously by the council. It is this. Take all those signatures from the petition drive. All 116,000 signatures of Atlanta residents calling for a referendum on whether to continue construction or stop it once and for all. Post them all on the city's website by the end of the month. Then independent elections experts could check unofficially right away how many of the signatures are valid. Sometime after that, the city may receive authorization by the courts to conduct the official verification process. Personally, I believe that they have the signatures. So will there be a referendum? possibly in March. Council members on Monday heard from Atlanta residents who support the training center. Let the voices be heard. And from residents who oppose the training center. It's time to let the people of Atlanta decide. This is finally an opportunity for the community to have a say in what they want instead of being told what is best for them. Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens, who supports building the new center, also supports finding out if there are enough signatures on the petition to put it to a referendum. And he says posting the signatures online for public review is a next step toward officially verifying whether there will be a referendum at all, once and for all. In Atlanta, John Shearick, 11 Alive News.